Hey guys, welcome back to the MBTX Living Channel. My name is Chase Bradley. I'm Veronica Bradley. And today we're going to be talking about the best parks in the San Antonio area. With the end of summer on its way and cooler weather upon us, you might be interested in visiting a park here in the San Antonio area. But San Antonio has over 200 parks, ranging from tiny neighborhood parks all the way to the largest park in San Antonio, Pearsall Park, at over 500 acres. With all those parks, it can be hard to narrow down a great place to sit and spend time in nature. That's why we are bringing you our top picks for the best parks in San Antonio. All right, so to start off, we are going to talk about Pearsall Park, as it is the largest park in all of San Antonio. It sits at over 500 acres, so 505 acres to be exact. So one of our clients specifically moved um, from out of state to San Antonio, military client. Um, he was happy to be stationed uh, close to Lackland because Pearsall Park is closer to Lackland Air Force Base. So he was enthused to be stationed there and to have the luxury of going to the largest skate park in San Antonio. Outside of just skating and it just being a large open park area, uh, there's miles and miles of trails. There's two splash pads and there's two basketball courts. So between all of that, I'm sure there's something that you can find out there in the Pearsall Park. And don't forget about the dog park. Everybody loves their fur babies, so there's a nice dog park out there. And for any moms, dads, guardians who are looking for the largest playground in San Antonio, this is the park to go to. Yep, and if you really love disc golf, there's disc golf available for you there as well. So if you're in the Lackland area, if you're gonna get stationed there, if you're moving there, or if you're just passing through, make sure you check out Pearsall Park. Like I said, it's the largest park here in San Antonio. It's awesome. Definitely check it out. Okay, so let's move to number two. And this happens to be one of my favorite parks in San Antonio. It's Bracken Ridge Park, and it's right by the San Antonio Zoo. It's right downtown San Antonio. So it's in a lot of great places if you don't uh, want to go to the park you know there's surrounding things within that park you're, you're going to probably end up going through the park anyway tea gardens um, in that area we have so many memories taking our kids to the park there um, you can ride the the train that the zoo offers it goes around the park gives you a little brief history of the area so that's one of the reasons why it's my favorite park because i love history i love everything i want I want uh, places that I go to to tell me a story, tell me all about it so I can appreciate it more. That, that general area is one of those places where you can pretty much spend all day there. You can. It's right next to downtown, right on the San Antonio River too. Mm -hmm. So pretty awesome views, very scenic area. One of our favorite parks in the San Antonio area. Okay, and the third park is Hemisphere Park. And I always say, these are my favorite parks because they, they are though. Like it's hard just to pinpoint one. Although I would say Brackenridge is one of my favorite, but Hemisphere also has a lot um, for, for the community to go and it's free. Um, they, they put so much money into this park for the San Antonio residents and tourists to come and, and just enjoy it. They're really building out a lot of Hemisphere Park, but it's really expanded mm -hmm. quite a bit. They're doing a lot of local things there. They're bringing in local businesses, local restaurants, try to fill out the area. It's really full of culture, full of it's, San Antonio culture, infused, to be really honest. It's infused with Texas history, for yeah. sure. We were honored to be a part of one of the biggest events that they have, one of the biggest veterans uh, event that they had. Um, so we, ha we were out there, we had our team out there. Um, uh, I'm probably gonna say his name wrong, but Coffee um, Anderson. Cafe Anderson performed. I didn't realize how tall he was. Super tall. And he's <laughs> an awesome guy, very humble, great music. Look him up if you don't know who I'm talking about. Um, but we had the opportunity to be out there and promote uh, real estate, obviously, because we're in real estate and he's a veteran, we help veterans. So we got to meet a lot of cool people, a lot of local people. All right, so another park that I'm pretty fond of is 
Comanche Lookout Park. It's about 96 acres of park with about four and a half uh, miles of trail or hiking, uh, give or take. And the reason why I'm so fond of this park is because it was so close to our house, our first house in San Antonio. And it was right by the library. It's like right across, like we we had a, at the time a toddler. Always took him to the park. He, that's where he learned how to ride his little bicycle. I took his pictures, blue bonnets, beautiful trails out there too. Um, a lot of history, we call it, there's a castle, we call it a castle, but there's a little castle there. There's a lot of history there too. Um, and it has a playground. Yeah. Uh, right after you play and, or take a hike, you can go into a cool library, check out some books. They have a lot of stuff going on. So it is a park that we're fond of because we were always there because of proximity to our house. Yeah, that park has changed a lot since we first started going there like 16, 17 years ago. Uh, they have built so much extra like playground equipment, built little exercise things along the trails oh, uh it's it's paved for the most part there are some unpaved area kind of unproved that kind of go up but the the cool thing about comanche lookout park is the fourth highest point oh, yes, in san antonio elevation. yeah so you could literally stand at the top like right next to the tower and you can look out you can see the tower of americas you can see all of, almost all of downtown san antonio from that point i can only imagine that if you're on the top of the castle you probably be able to see more but yeah. unfortunately it's fenced it's you fenced can't. off nobody can get can't onto trespass. or into mm -hmm. so please don't trespass please don't get up there uh but yes it is awesome it's a really cool park so our final part the one we've all been waiting for the wood lawn lake park that's a mouthful <laughs> but <laughs> It's a pretty awesome park. It's huge. It's a pretty decent sized park. But the thing that I really, really like about it is there's a 30 acre lake right in the middle of the park. So you like fishing, you like doing that kind of stuff. It's all there for you. Yeah. In addition to the fishing, you know, obviously there's hike and bike trails, there's playgrounds, there's a pool that's a little bit off to the side of that. So there's a lot that you can do there. But one of the, the biggest things that really stands out because it's such a scenic area, it's actually the host of San Antonio's De July 4th celebration. Mm -hmm. So every July 4th, or at least most July 4th, when they do their huge firework display, that's one of the places where you can go, you can watch the fireworks in San Antonio, free of charge, it's at the park. It's a really awesome place, just check it out. If you're here during July 4th, Make sure you put that on your schedule so that you can go check that out. Yeah, and they've been doing this for the past 100 years yeah. or so. Like, this is an older, historic area. So, you know, he thinks of Woodlawn Lake Park and he thinks of the park. I think yeah. of the houses. Oh, my goodness gracious. I love showing homes in that area. Um, there's so many homes down from smaller homes to bigger homes, historic homes. And because this, the, some of the homes were built in the early 1900s, and I love old homes and I love everything about history. So it's just a beautiful area um, in addition to the park. So I think of all the cool homes and yes, the park is a bonus. You get to go be by the park and see the ducks. There's lots of ducks out there. Um, but I think of the beautiful homes. So if you're thinking of moving into the area and you like that type of stuff, Woodlawn Lake Park is a good area to look at. And yes, like I said, uh, the park is a big bonus, but the homes are also nice. <laughs> That wraps up our video on the best parks in the San Antonio area. You could tell some of them are a little bit more fun for us than maybe some of the other ones. And we probably could elaborate a lot more on each one of these parks. There's, there's over 200 there's parks. There's so many we could there's talk about. There's <laughs> 200 parks in San Antonio. It's crazy. It's so hard to really pinpoint, but you know, just trial and error, visiting a lot of these parks during the time that we mm -hmm. lived in San Antonio we were really able to kind of narrow down some oh. of our more favorite parks based on like the way that they looked, how scenic they were, the things that you're able to do there. These are our definitive list of I would, our favorite parks. I would like to go on record saying that we are park experts because we love being outdoors. Not only do we know about San Antonio parks, we're thinking about Live Oak Park, which is right yeah. outside of San Antonio. We know about so many parks because we like to go explore. So maybe we'll make more park videos if you want to hear more about parks let us know we actually have the new Braunfels oh, parks if you're interested in seeing those the video will be right here the link will be somewhere up here 
Make sure you check that out. We've talked about New Braunfels because we live in this area right now. If there's anything that we miss, let us know in the comments below. If we don't see you in the comments below, we will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.